This letter was signed by Hitler himself. With it, the madness of the Nazi ideology soon materialized. The letter approves a program called Acton T4. Its goal was to cut spending by reducing the number of hospitalized patients by any means necessary, which of course meant death. It began in January of 1940 and ended in August of the following year. The Acton T4 was a secret program devised by Hitler. The aim was to eliminate people with disabilities, people who were considered a burden to society. Under the program, hospital directors listed patients who they didn't consider to have the right to live. It included mental patients, the disabled, and those who couldn't defend themselves. The program was headquartered in Berlin. There, the data was analyzed and those who were listed as unproductive were forced out of the hospital. To deal with the logistics, a transportation company was actually started to transport these patients in camouflaged vans. Patients who were considered incurable were taken to abandoned hospitals or prisons, where they would then undergo medical experiments before dying. People were moved under the false notion that they would be seen by a specialist who could offer better treatment. The family was not told about the transfer. In fact, they would only find out after receiving the death certificate. Letters like this one describe the suspicious circumstances under which a patient was moved from a hospital named Losa Ernst. It argues that the 13-year-old patient had a bad attitude which led to problems. The reality, though, was very different. Reports now show that patients were deceived. They were told that they would be undergoing a medical checkup, but instead they were experimented on and then killed in what's described as the beginning of gas chambers. It wasn't long before the neighborhood became suspicious. The smoke would come out, and the facilities were very close to the village, so people could smell the smoke and began to ask what's going on there. That's when families began writing to the hospitals to ask about their loved ones, sons, nephews, and friends. The suspicion was so widespread that even the Bishop of Munster, Monsignor van Galen, addressed the issue in mass. After some pressure from the community, a year and a half later the program was cancelled. But by that point, more than 70,000 people had been killed. The program officially ended in August of 1941. But some health workers continued practicing these methods. In fact, among the victims was a cousin of Benedict XVI, who suffered from Down syndrome. Now as painful as that chapter was, historians say it's important to remember that period so it's never repeated again.